All right, let's try it out. All righty, three, two, one. You shall not pass. Oh God, I gotta get it from the diaphragm. Let's let's try that again. You shall not. Goodness gracious, that is awful. I guess I'll just get into to the reviews. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm you shall not pass. What's up, guys? James here from Reflect the Screen, and today I review two movies. Yeah, two movies. Uh, okay, you'll only get that if you understand hip hop. So these two movies to round out the week are Tolkien and The Hustle. Both of these films have good things, one more than the other, and mm, some things that are just not very good. But before we hop into that, go ahead and subscribe to Reflect the Screen if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get every notification whenever I post any videos. Go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Okay, let's hop right into the better of the two, Tolkien. Tolkien is directed by Dome Karokowski, and what he does is brings to life the origin tale of famed fantasy author J.R.R. Tolkien. If you don't know much about him, he kind of wrote these books that are a little popular. They're called The Hobbit and well, The Lord of the Rings books. This story does a great job at bringing to life a love story and a war story. Lily Collins plays Tolkien's love interest and then wife, Edith. Right off the bat, when both of these characters are introduced, Nicholas Holt and Lily Collins do a great job on screen together. Their chemistry is wonderful and they bring to life well, people I didn't really care too much about before seeing the movie. I think that it's a testament to the director and the writers that you really get a sense of the environment and why they're so important. And that's what I really wanted to get out of this movie because I didn't know much going into it. But when I came out, I was like, okay, so it capitalized on making me really feel involved and getting me engaged with the characters. Everything about Tolkien felt very authentic. Not for one moment did I get pulled out of the movie, but man, it pulled me right in. And of course, I don't need to tell you this, but if you're a Lord of the Rings fan or a fan of the books and the movies, just go and see this film. You're gonna see it anyway, I know. But it's nice to know about the inspiration. It's cool to catch the little references in the film. I mean, there were many times the audience kind of went, oh, oh, I know that little house. Oh, oh my God, that's supposed to be like a Hobbit character. And of course the last line, which I won't tell you, really makes a smile. So it, it's a cool tale, it's very heartwarming. Now it's not without a single fault that I did come away with, and honestly, it's a little dry. You can't do much with a story like this, but there were moments where I found myself thinking, okay, we can probably cut this out of the movie and then just move forward. Now the next film that I screened was The Hustle. The Hustle stars two con artists, Stan Hathaway and Rebel Wilson, and they clash because Rebel Wilson finds her way onto Anne's turf. The film, it is it is supposed to be a comedy. Supposed to be a comedy. I felt the director did hold back Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson and kind of just reduce them to physical humor and stupid sex jokes that really didn't play very well with the audience. While I did find myself laughing in some sequences, for the most part, I felt, boy, these barrage of jokes just don't, they don't resonate with me. I can see why some people would laugh out loud and just fall out of their seat. I just didn't think it really, I, it didn't get to me. It didn't get to the core of what I find funny in a film. What I found really interesting about the team of writers is that one of them is supposed to be on the Black Widow squad. So she's actually writing the screenplay, at least according to IMDb. All of those writers definitely should reevaluate exactly how they write comedy movies or just the script in general because I felt everything was okay to eh, until like the final chunk. That's when I was like, ah boy, this story really just, it just, it's just falling through the cracks, isn't it? It just gave up essentially. And they tried to tie everything up very nicely, but they didn't do the greatest job. This film has a couple positives, I guess. Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson do a good job together. I mean, they do have moments where they play off each other very well, and there are a lot of those moments where I thought, boy, what could have been between these two? And I won't lie to you, there were some moments where I did laugh, but it came very rarely. Of the two films that I saw, Tolkien is definitely the one to see. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. I can't wait until next week. John Wick 3 and the Sun is also a star, I think is the title. I'll, I'll get that right by the review. But until next time, I'll catch you at the next screener.